Hey guys, Pat Dune 1979 here. Gonna bring to you today a review which I didn't know if I wanted to do or not, but I'm gonna bring it to you anyways because you guys need some information if you get it. Uh, this is a Canadian legal stun baton uh, that I got from a website which I am gonna mention and gonna put a link in the description because you guys, you know, if you saw my other video, you know what I think about that website, but you know, since they contacted me through YouTube, I think the best way to contact them if I got any issues or questions is to make a YouTube video. So, anyways, um, this is a Canadian legal stun baton that is approximately 1 million volts. So they say originally when I got it, it was 7. Point, they said 7.5 million. Now they changed it back to a million. As you guys can see, it comes with the instructions. Uh, 7.2 volt DC input voltage, power current 2.5 amps. Uh, the output voltage is 1,000 kilovolts. Uh, weight 300 grams. Size 510 millimeter um, by 35s. Head diameter 33. So um, it's a big power electronic self defense device. So for whatever that's worth. So, um, you know, this is a stun baton that uses uh, two 18650 and a battery carrier. So, I'm almost thinking that the battery carrier could be, you know, something just to make some space so you could eventually or you could accommodate 26650. So, that might be the size for the 26650. So, let me put that down here. I'm just gonna take it apart. Click, tail cap, little tail cap. That's a clicky that you can, you know, disengage. So you get your two 18650 batteries. Almost looks like Samsung, but I don't, I'm not sure. 2200 milliamp though. So not so bad. Um, are they protected? Maybe, I think I think it might be protected. So there's a little lip around the top. So I think they might be protected. They're protruding just a little bit so they make contact with each other. Um, you know, it's a, uh, you get your battery carrier, like I said, you just put them in, put them in there. So click, click, so it doesn't rattle in there. Let me just put it back in there, click. You just insert it back. Let's look at the tail cap a little bit. The, uh, tail cap, you know, as you can see, in the beginning I had some issues with. Let me just get a scut towel and just clean that out. Just a little bit corner, so all you gotta do is if it your uh, stun baton doesn't work in the beginning, just clean the threads. So you gotta do that once in a while. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little bit of junk in the threads. So uh, at the beginning, I had some troubles with the uh, baton not working properly. So uh, you know, with essentially that's a big flashlight with some uh, you know electric power and stun ability on it. So all you gotta do is clean the threads once in a while and your baton is going to be a little bit better, it's going to function, the electricity is going to go a little bit easier through, so uh, all you got to do is clean the threads, uh, maybe lube them if you got some neat nail gel or something like that, you can lube the threads with that, so basically the function is once you press the button on, which I think it was, yeah, it was on already, so that's the, you know, a permanent lockout, so if you don't want the uh, switch might be an electronic switch, so if you leave it on or off like that, it might drain just a little bit of current, but not much. From what I've played with it, once I charge it to 4.15 you know, volts, uh, you know, it's it's lasting you a long time. So just playing around with it, just playing around with the taser part of it, which we're gonna see right now. As you guys can see on the taser part, there's some uh, you know contact points which run one side positive, the other side negative, and they just go around, so, you know, it, they just make contacts when you touch something. So that's how it works, it's just one continuous piece. You can see through sometimes, you won't be able to see it on my camera, but I can see the wire passing through here. So that the actual part itself, the top, the head, as you can see there's a difference in the color and the, uh, the material, so this is plastic. This is metal, this is plastic, so. Of course, so you don't get you know shot through the flashlight. Although the current doesn't pass as much as you can see the little red light. You get the flashlight, then you switch it up to the red light. Click, it lights up. Whoops, 
I see I, I got a little a bit of trouble with my switch. This is one of the things I had some troubles with in the beginning. The switch, you flip it on, you flip it, and sometimes the flashlight part just doesn't take off. And, you know, you can use the stun gun with the flashlight, which is kind of dangerous for the stun gun itself. And when I use the stun gun, when I use the, the part, which you shouldn't use more than half a second, just like that, just to test it out. Uh, when you're playing around with it and uh, just not to damage the electronics if you open up the tail cap back and you smell the inside it's gonna smell a little bit you know rubbery so I don't know too much about the quality of the electronics inside uh, if they're good or not so uh, you know if the soldering is good but for now it's you know it's holding on it's doing its job the flashlight is working which is actually close to 120 lumen like they say I've got my 90 lumen T, uh, T10, T, uh, yeah, my True Night T10. I've uh, right here, and it's just a little bit more powerful than that. Of course, the head is, you know, a little bit bigger and reflectors a little bit deeper. But you know, it's not bad, but it's not gonna light up anything. You know, inside your house or something, it's good. But outside, for you know, just blinding somebody, he might, you know, do a temporary just to, for for a few seconds. It might blind them, but you know um this device you know it use eighteen six fifty there's a charger that comes with it a little bit a little uh, plug in charger which you should if you're using that charger alone you should monitor that charger uh, i mean like every hour you don't want your batteries to go over four point two volts so uh if they go four point two one four point two two four point two three uh, it's gonna damage your cell so if you do that often it's gonna damage your cell so you really have to watch that so I don't know the warranty on that I tried to ask around for the warranty and by the way since they might look at this video so we're gonna ask another ammo right now what is the warranty on this guys uh, this message this is little part is for Canada ammo what is the warranty that you're offering on the stun gun I know for a fact that they're watching my video so might as well ask him while we're at it. Um, you know, I want I want to know if there's a you know a 30 day or one month. Just to, if it works when you, it arrives, that's the warranty. And after that, you're on your own. Or you know, this is something that is pretty cheap, 39 dollars uh, for the uh, stun gun, including the batteries. And you know, the the 18650 themselves, uh, you buy them from China. They're well, those brand they might be five bucks each, so ten bucks right there. So the rest of the baton, the electronics, uh, you know, they might get a good price on it for twenty dollars or fifteen or you know, around that price. Then they sell it for forty, so that's pretty good. I mean, that that's a good deal, uh, right there. But you know, depending on the warranty on it, if it arrives at your home and it's a dud, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna return it, which is gonna cost you a lot for shipping, or are they gonna just send another one back? if you do a little video like that showing that it's defective so I don't know about that so but here's the box that the charger comes with uh, you're gonna see some information output DC 8.4 volts 4.2 volts um, you know uh, input AC 110 240 volts stuff like that you know charge and alternating current blah 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 so um, other than that it's just that little box you got the instruction that comes here, you know, just, you know, 1132 big power self-defense. How much big power is that? Well, I don't know. They tell you to charge it for 10 to 12 hours. Guys, after one hour, I would just, you know, take a multimeter and just watch the cells. Very important to watch the cells. Uh, if you got a night core charger that charges 18650, uh, any type of charger that charges 18650, I would advise you to take that charger, just unscrew the cap and just use that charger to charge your uh, stun baton because uh, the uh, basic charger is just gonna damage your your cell after a little while so um, just gonna show you guys a little bit more you know about the switch here that just your standard little switch I don't think this thing is waterproof you see the switch here there's a little bit of rattle probably goes directly inside the electronics so I don't think this thing would be water resistant or waterproof so if it's raining outside and you're using it for whatever to go get the garbage especially here with the charging port as you guys can see it's not really you know there's nothing really in there it doesn't even match up the hole doesn't even match up with the inside here it won't pick it up on my camera but 
you know the the uh, the charging port fits in there but it's not you know a real positive feel so um, you know just a little something there as you can see a little button protruding out and the fact that you have to put your hand so much more forward just kills your reach I mean you have to bring it all the way back here to uh, to activate the baton so it kills your reach a little bit but just the noise alone you know every time I show that to somebody the noise I just press on it and they just jump they just you know back away a little bit and jump and that that is one of the funniest thing just for that that that's worth the forty dollars almost just to see people jump around and just wow what the hell is that you know you got a taser you motherfucker <laughs> so that's, that's just fun so um, for that you know this is you know a fun item this is a novelty item which I would say uh, would you be able to use that for self-defense depending on the situation maybe if somebody comes in your home like I said or stuff like that if it's a legal uh, you know you're legally inclined to defend yourself because you're being attacked or something but keeping that in your car I don't know if you could keep that in your car especially here in Canada with cold winters and you know the hot summers and the humidity and stuff like that the electronic might get damaged after just a few weeks so uh, not, maybe not a good idea to leave that in your car if you're bringing it in bringing it in with you in your car all the time so maybe you know uh, self-defense for animal uh, of course just a, a, an animal uh, it's got you know instinct instinctively is gonna know which uh, you know that this is dangerous and this high power current just watch the videos on YouTube for bears and grizzly trying to go to an electric fence or try to to pass on the other side of the electric fence they didn't they don't even touch it and they know it's dangerous they know there's some current there and they, they don't want to touch that so uh, when it comes in the packaging it's just you know just your standard little box like that so that came aside from it you got the instruction that was in there charger of course the battery was inside already the stun the stun gun so um, you know just came in like that just your standard packaging from uh, Canada Post so um, you know overall it, it's it's a fun item if it's work if it works like I said a couple of issues with my switch at the beginning my treads I almost thought the, the stun button was defective so I said oh shit I just spent like 60 bucks because it's like 15 bucks shipping so I just spent 60 bucks and you know it's not working but you know with my knowledge of the flashlights and stuff like that I was able to you know just analyze a little bit how it worked and just clean the thread start with that and that fixed the problem right away so the thread was just so much junk in there it, it was crazy so you get another part two of the baton here that you can undo uh, second part here you can unscrew so I'm gonna just show you that right now actually I think you can unscrew the other side here but since there's some wire in there I would advise against so uh, but this part here you can just unscrew it no problem so you just unscrew that I'll start with that one take off the batteries and make sure I'm in the frame now just unscrew that part here I'm gonna have to clean those threads up in the meantime. So there you get your electronics and stuff. You know, just little cons uh, positive side. Your uh, just little contact point there, and just you know your plates and stuff like that where the uh, button rests. So might have to clean that up. But there, there's some coating on that, so I don't think this is this makes contact. The only place that makes contact is there, and that's clean. So I'm just gonna put it back. So the threads on that part don't need to be. Uh, just make sure it's tight too when you when it arrives. Just make sure everything is tight. Clean the threads, and uh, you know you're gonna be fine. So um, I know this video is going a little bit long. I'm gonna try to keep it for 15 minutes. Just gonna put it back. Do a fun function test like a firearm. So you just make sure it works all nice and good. Already cleaned those threads in the beginning for the other one. Just make sure everything is tight. Function check, flashlight works, and the stun part works. So, like I said, if you're using it just half a second, that's all you need. So, 
I can almost smell a little bit of electronic burning, so I'm gonna stop playing with it for now. So hope you guys enjoyed this little review, quick re well, not so quick review on my, uh, you know, uh, newest, uh, you know, Canadian legal stun baton, and hope to see you guys on the next one.